So you have to be willing to take risk. You've got to be willing to put yourself in that uncomfortable situation and do something that you maybe wouldn't have done before that you're not really sure if it's going to work out. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I quit, I quit. You, I'm out. Hey. What's going on, y'all? It's Ninja and the Rose. We back. We back. This where week. We make the rules. We make the rules. What so, happened? This week, we're going to talk about should you quit your day job like us? Like us. As we've made extraordinary steps in our just personal lives trying to work for ourselves. Yes. So, um, we've compiled a list of We want to share the info, yeah. That, you know, we think um, would answer that question. Yeah. And not to sway <clears throat> your opinion in one direction or the other but right. we just want to share our information on our experience so y'all can make your own informed decision it's a major lifestyle decision you know like yeah. it's it's something that you kind of have to weigh is whether or not something that you want to really do with your life you want to commit to it i think one of the first things for me is i had to decide like what's my why right you know okay. Okay. like i had to have a reason why i was interested in changing my lifestyle in the first place there's the whole process of like go to job I'm um, sorry, go to school, get a job, do your job, make your money, come home, pay your bills, work Monday through Friday, hang right. out on the weekend, all that type of thing. And with entrepreneurial endeavors that you have to break out of that mold. You work in seven days a week, bro. Yeah, Don't get yeah, it twisted. Facts. But it's not work if that's your passion. Yes, you know that's the saying? trick that's, to it. That's the trick. So for me, I found a certain like unhappiness or discontentment with the work that I was doing and I realized that I needed to change something. And my why was that piece of me that was discontent with my current situation. I was like, what could I change? You know, what could I do differently to adapt a different lifestyle that would allow me to live through these passions instead of just working on someone else's time for their dollar, you know? Mm. Yeah. You have to have a plan. What's your plan? So if you're working a job currently, what's your plan to quit the job what are yeah. you going to do after you quit the job quitting is easy you know what i'm saying everybody could do it right but what's the plan how are you going to you know um keep the same amount of income plus more obviously flowing in yeah so you got a short-term goals long-term goals five-year plans 10-year plans 30-year plans things like that you know yeah. business plans all of these things should in my personal experience should be crafted and 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 uh created rather before you quit yeah absolutely you know and i feel like that plan is formed through an evaluation of like what is your passion specifically like what's the thing that you really feel a drive to do with your life what's the thing you want to share with the world how can you bring value to people how can you bring your value and share it with other people's lives and help help improve their situation all of that type of stuff is like the plan that you form around the idea of starting out on your own or becoming an entrepreneur or creating your own business or your line or whatever it is right. that you are thinking about doing it all starts with evaluating that passion and how it can be formed into a bigger plan you know right. you need to find out you need to know rather if you're self-motivated that's if, a requirement that's a requirement yeah if you you're lazy forget about it just work your job know when you need to go to work and know when you need to you want someone Leave else's work. time, right? Yeah, that, and if that works for you, that's cool. You need to know yourself <laughs> and self-motivation is easily the greatest factor in quitting your job and becoming an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? It can also be the greatest factor in your own failure or your success. True, depending on what you deem as success, but on a... Yeah, if you're lazy, I don't... You got to be able to get shit done, basically. You have to be much. able to organize your time, right. organize your thoughts. Like we said, work seven days a week, but if it's a passion... Shit, work eight days a week. Or eight, work <laughs> eight days a week, work three jobs, everything. Word. But if it's a passion, it's something that doesn't feel like a job. It's something that is self-motivating. It's something that you want to share with the right. world. You want to build that brand. Right. You want to bring that information into people's lives. You want to wake up knowledge. and want, want to do it regardless. Right. You, know, you don't have to have anybody to say, yo... 
come clock in. You just wake up like, all right, I got to get this shit popping. This is right. what I need to do. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. You know, have your to-do list. Knock and that out. and that's about being self-organized, right? Where right. it's like, can you take that plan and create like action-oriented tasks mm. every single day, mm. you know? So inspired action is the thing that creates real momentum in life. And you got to be able to organize that inspired action and do something every single day that will build in the direction of that goal. Mm. So you got to stay organized. You got to have the big picture goal. You got to have the immediate <clears throat> everyday goal when you're feeling overwhelmed and you're in the moment. You're like, what can I do right now? Fact. You got to be able to organize. You got to be able to do all of that. Which goes into the next one, is, and that's um, you have to be able to budget your time. Totally. And that's super difficult. It's difficult. You have all of these outside. But you can do it. You can do it. Because we do it. You know what I'm saying? We could do it. You definitely could do it. But you have all of these outlying factors that essentially want to steal your time and steal yeah. your energy and steal And your, distract you. Right, right. All of that. So... You have to have the discipline enough to be like, I'm doing this, 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 this during these times. And I had to accomplish these goals. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. There's yes. no, there's no if, there's no buts, there's no maybes. That's what you're doing. You set your mind out to do and it's done. Yes. You know? Another piece that all of this is wrapped up into is kind of more like the larger consequence if you will of quitting a job and striking out on your own or going in the passion of your dreams and the going in the direction of your dreams and going in the direction of your passion all of that type of stuff is it takes a piece of letting go of a, a security that you've built in your life so your security either is that you know where your paycheck is coming from. Mm -hmm. A lot of people rely heavily on financial security, right? Mm -hmm. Like financial security is a huge thing. How am I going to eat breakfast tomorrow? I got to right. know where my bread comes from. Right. So there's which a piece is, which of Which is it. a big perception because I always looked at it as if you feel secure in having a job, that same person that you you know felt that security could take that job away from you totally You're not secure anymore, totally you know but people sometimes don't even realize that right. until it's too right. late right? right so so you have to be able to take a step back and and learn to live comfortably in the uncomfort right. you have to be able to go into a place of saying i might be in the unknown but i know that my heart is in the right place i know that i'm living my truth and so everything will work out in the manner that it's supposed to. Right. But sometimes that means relinquishing that piece of security that you may have relied so heavily on, which is a really, really can be difficult piece of letting go. And you got to be ready for it. That's why we're telling you about it now. Fact. So you know before so you, know. you get there. And also... You're going to be like, oh man, they talked about the security thing. I already knew about right. it. <laughs> and so with that, you have to be able to, you know, you have to be willing to take risks. Yes. You know, taking a risk is really probably one of the biggest things in quitting your job yeah it is it is the biggest thing you're taking the hugest risk but you have to determine these risks is, is it worth it yes uh let me work it like, nah. <laughs> but <laughs> but you have to take calculated risk i think is the yeah. thing i'm looking for right uh, organize organize the plan right but having it be, you know, um, if you study things about the stock market, they'll tell you about like having to take risk in a way that is calculated, like you're talking about. It's that same concept, right? Where it's like you got to make a plan, but it's going to put you in the uncomfortable zone and you got to be OK with it. You got to be OK with it. You got to. The only thing that's constant is change. And the only thing we know is that everything's unknown. That's so. Fact. That's a fact. Live your best life. So you want to be a part of it and be living passionately and feeling good every day? Or you want to be putting all of your energy and effort into what someone else is building and, and living their dream for them, basically? And that's fine if you feel like you're a part of the dream, but there's a difference. If it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't feel right, this video is for you. It's not right. If it feels right, keep living your life and that's an amazing decision that you're making and you'll keep building it in the way that feels good to you. But if it doesn't feel right, consider all of these questions and ponder if you should quit your day job like we did. Right. <laughs> you guys, if you guys have any other things that you think we might have missed, please let us know in the comment section. 
If you're thinking about quitting your job, we would love to hear about the things that you're nervous about, the things that you have questions about. We're a decade in with this. So we've been doing this, figuring it out. We've been quitting jobs. We've been, been fired from we've jobs. Been <laughs> I remember I got fired from a coffee spot, and I thought I was making all the right coffees. And people asking for lat uh, lattes, and I'm giving them cappuccinos. Dang, and stuff like bro, that. how could you? It's just not me. I wasn't living true to myself. Right. Did. And that's the that's the point here, right? So if you're living true to yourself, you're good, and keep living in that direction. If you feel like there's something awry. Consider these questions and see if this would be a good lifestyle for you. We would love to have you in the entrepreneur team. Fact. We would love to share more of our secrets with you guys. So definitely comment your questions. We will absolutely answer all of them for you. Or hit that subscribe button. Yes. Make sure you click the notification bell. Yes. We have more videos for you all the time. All the time. Holla at us Next every time. week. It's Ninja in the Rose. Peace.